Hello and welcome to this video recording for SAM projects for the Word 4 project. So log in to uh, the SAM website and under the activity list you can find the assignments that are available and find the Word 4 assignment. You're allowed five attempts. The steps are one, download instructions, two, download start file, three, upload the work when you're done. We've talked through these and some other projects. You can go back to some earlier videos for more details if you have questions about these. But let me just go ahead and download the instructions file. I'll get rid of the protected view yellow bar across the top. And just a reminder, which you know before, I think, download the start file to have your name underscore one, change it to your name underscore two. Make sure that your name appears in the footer. There will also be a couple support files for this project that we'll be using. So let's get that start file. Save it. Uh, open it. Uh, the protected view yellow bar, I'm going to remove that protected view yellow bar. And I'm going to go ahead and do a save as to change this to be on my desktop. So I'm going to save it. The only thing I'm going to change is the one to a two. So when you see your name underscore two across the top in the title bar and you scroll down to the uh, footnote uh, that said, not footnote, but the a uh, little note here at the bottom that says this file created for then a footer, then you know you're in good shape. All right, let's do our project. Step one, as the publicity manager for your local library, uh, your local library's used book sale, you need to format a one-page flyer to announce the event. Start by changing the document margins to normal. So on our document, let's change the margins. The margins are in the layout tab. And let's change those to normal margins. Step two says to make the text easier to read, modify the normal style by changing uh, the font size to 12 point for the normal style. So again, you're doing this not for the document, but for the normal style. Right click and modify and change the, the style to be 12 point for normal style. In the first paragraph, type the word used so that the heading reads uh, giant used book sale, giant used book sale. Format the heading giant used book sale to be centered 36 point, centered 36 point, Times New Roman with a uh, text and topography. So let's do Times New Roman first. If you don't see it on your list right there, you have to go through, and uh, if you don't see Times New Roman in your drop-down, go through it alph alphabetical. And then we're going to use this uh, text effects and topography option to find the fill gray 50 accent one shadow. And the fill gray 50 accent one shadow is one of these up here. There it is, fill gray 50 accent one shadow. Apply step five, apply the default bottom border paragraph to the giant used book sale. So with here this is the bottom border is in the home tab paragraph group. There's a bottom border uh, right there. Apply the bottom border with default. Insert and format a picture as follows. So move the insertion point to the left of the G in giant used book sales, and then insert the support file that has the uh, book tree uh, image from the SAM website. So let's go to the SAM website first. Let's get the book tree image, and we'll click on this and save it in my desktop so I know where it's at. So it's saved on my machine, that's good. Now what I wanna do is go back to put, place the cursor to the left of giant used book sales and say insert and browse pictures to the desktop because that's where I saved mine at. Yours might be saved on a different uh, location. And there it is, support um, book tree. Resize the picture so the height is 0 0.75. The width should adjust automatically. So clicking on the image on the format tab, change the height to 0 0.75. The width should change along with it and it does. Apply square text wrapping. So with the image selected, text wrap, square. Recolor the picture using gray 80 
text color to option in the color gallery. So with the image selected, we can go over here to the color gallery and we can see some options here. And I think the option we're looking for is down here, gray 50 accent color one. Let me go back and look, I don't remember what it said. Gray 80 text color two dark. Gray 80 text color two dark, it's that one. And then the last thing is add a brown accent six border to the picture. So with the border, with the, the image selected, let's add a border to this. And uh, what's the easiest way to do that? I know I can do it this way. I can just right click and say format the picture. I think there's another way of doing this. And I can change the line to have a solid line and pick the border this way. And I'm picking what we're boring, accent six. Brown accent six as my border. Okay. Uh, picture border, that's what I was looking for. There's also an option to do it under the format tab. There's a picture border. If I click on it, it'd be the same thing. Get to that theme colors and select accent six. You can see it's already highlighted. Okay, uh, step seven. Find two instances of the word VHS and replace them with DVD. Do not include the period. So let's do a uh, home replace. We're going to replace VHS with DVDs. And we're going to replace all. And I think it says we should see two instances and we made two replacements. Format the first body paragraph. It's time for the annual as follows. Before 12 point spacing, after 18 point spacing. So it's time for the annual, the whole paragraph. Uh, can Single click will give you a word, uh, a word. Single click gives you the cursor, double click gives you the entire word, and triple click gives you the entire paragraph. All you need to do is have the cursor in the paragraph to be able to change the settings for the entire paragraph. I wanna make the before 12 point and the after 18 point. And now this entire paragraph has before 12 point and after 18 point. In the first sentence of the body paragraph, format the text new Clintonville Public Library with intense emphasis style to help it stand out. New Clintonville Public Library with the style intense emphasis. And there's intense emphasis style and it helps it stand out. After the period, at the end of the first body paragraph, insert a footnote with the following sentence. Show your library card for a free donut. I'm gonna grab the period as well. I'm going to copy this and paste this in here. We place a period at the end of the first body paragraph, after the period of the first body paragraph. So again, the whole paragraph, if I triple click, I see the whole paragraph ends with memberships are available at the door. So with the cursor after the period, I'm going to go into the references and I'm going to say insert a footnote. And it takes me down here to the footnote text with a little little footnote up there under uh, after available at the door. And here's where I get to type in that text or I can go under home and paste it in using the keep text only option by clicking the down arrow under paste and saying keep text only. Show your library card for a free donut. Step 11 says, uh, format the paragraph Thursday, May 19th through Monday, May 23rd as follows. Center, change the font size to 16. Let's do those two first. Center, font size is 16. Apply the white background one darker 50% paragraph shading. So the, the paragraph shading palette, white background one darker 50. That goes over to the paragraph palettes. And here's our shading option. And we want to do uh, white background 50. Okay, white background one darker 50. I think what it said, white background one darker 50. And then part D said, apply the white background one font color to the uh, selected text. So with that paragraph selected, go under font and under font color here, select the first option in the theme colors, white background one. Format the text beginning mass market 
paperbacks and ending with romances as a bulleted list. Mass market paperbacks going down to romances and make that a bulleted list under the home group paragraphs bullets. Insert a second, uh, insert format a second picture. So move the insertion point to the beginning of the first bulleted list to the left of the M in mass market paperbacks and then get the other support file bookshelves. So the cursor is going to go here to the left of the M in the bulleted list and then I'm going to go back to the website, download and save that second uh, support file, saving it to the desktop, saving not opening, and then going back into Word with the cursor to the left of the mass market, then I'll say insert picture and find the support bookshelf image. Resize the picture so the height is 2.9, the width should automatically adjust. So change, select the, the picture, change the height to 2.9. The width is 3.49, which is what I think it says it should be, and it is. Square text wrapping. Image selected, text wrap square, and simple frame white picture style, which I think is the very first picture style. Simple frame white. Okay, that actually looks kind of good. Step 14 says to modify the table below, we're still accepting donations, to be as follows. So here's the table, we're still accepting donations, and we want to insert a row below books. So here's the books row, and we want to insert a row below. So with the table selected, we have a design and layout tab, and in the layout tab, we have the option to insert above, left or right. We want to do below the selected uh, row, which is books. So now below books, we have this blank one. And in the new row, enter the text shown, DVDs and reference desk. So let's type in DVDs and reference desk. Step 15 says, format the table below, we're still accepting donations, as uh, grid table four, accent one. So select the table. We're going to do a design style. Uh, the grid option, which is up here at the beginning. And I think it's this fourth one, grid four, go over one more, grid four, accent one. And resize the table using auto fit to content. So with the table selected, there is a layout option here that says auto fit. And when we pull down the auto fit, we have auto fit contents and it makes the table a lot smaller uh, because there's no wasted white space in there. Then center the table on the page. We do that back in the home group under the paragraph center option. In the last blank paragraph of the document, below the paragraph that reads, we especially need children's picture books this year, insert a second table. So below the we especially need, so down here, if you click below that, the cursor starts blinking uh, to this blank spot. And at this point, we're going to insert a table with two columns and four rows. So with the cursor below the we especially need, I say insert, and under table, two columns and four rows. And I can just do that by moving the cursor around until I'm at two columns and four rows and pressing enter there. And I get this two column, four row table. Merge the cells in row one. So I'll take row one here, and I will say uh, merge those. In the layout group, there is a merge option. Uh, I think there's a merge option. Uh, no, I just right click on it and say merge. So I'll just do it that way. I think there's another one up there, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, so I've merged that first row and then enter the text shown here. So, and for me to see this as I type this, I'm going to move this in the lower left-hand corner here. And I'm going to move this up a little bit. Whoops. So I can see as I'm typing. Sponsored by volunteers. Tab moves you from one to the next. So Tamara is the volunteer co 
coordinator. And Jamal is the treasurer. And Sophia is the donations coordinator. So I think I typed those in correctly. I hope I typed those in correctly. Step 17. From the table grid, uh, let me double check this. Sponsored by volunteers from Library Friends, Tamara, Preston, Sophia. No, they got that data correct. I don't know why that's not centered. Because uh, I did a merge, but didn't do a merge and center. Did the instructions say to merge and center? Oh. Uh, It just said to merge the centers. It doesn't say to merge the center. So, okay. We're going, I feel like I'm missing, I feel like that is, seems wrong, but we're not going to worry about it right now. We'll see in a second. Uh, format this table. Grid for accent one table style. So with this new table that we just did. Uh, grid table for accent one. So in the grid op options, accent four, table one. Right align the text in columns two, rows two, three, four. So this text, highlighting just column two, rows two, three, four, I'm going to right align that text. I can do that. Uh, could change it there. I'll just do it by going under the Home tab and right align. I know it'll get it that way. Okay. I'm going to scroll down to the final. Yeah, sponsored by volunteers is not centered. Okay, so we're exactly where we want to be at this point. Step 18, add a header to the document as follows. So on our document, I want to add a header. So we do this under the uh, insert header, and we're entering a blank header, I believe it says. Insert a blank header at the top of the page. So insert tab, header, blank header. Center the header paragraph. Home tab, paragraph center. Type the text Approve for posting in the library period. Include the period. Approve for posting in the library with a period. And then close the header. So when you have the header tool design tab, you can close it that way. Okay. Or you can just double click into the document itself and that'll close the header also. Approve for posting in the library. Step 19 says, finish the flyer by adding a page border. Select page border style of your choice. Uh, two and a quarter point border and an olive green accent three um, theme color for the border, which is the seventh column down five. So let's go to the uh, design tab and the page borders option. And in the page borders option, I'm going to use uh, any style I want just for kicks and giggles here. I'm going to use the double uh, double line border style. I've got box selected, um, two and a quarter. And then the color, I believe, is uh, olive green, darker 25, if I remember correctly. Let me go back and look and see if that's what the instructions said. Olive green, darker 25. Okay, so I think we think we're good there. Okay. Check the spelling and grammar in the document, and uh, see what we have here. So just put the cursor somewhere in the document. Go under the review tab, spelling and grammar. Uh, find thousands of books. I think I want thousands, so I'll change that. Hardcover. Biographies, I think I want to say biographies, so I'll change that. Mysterio soap, I think it would only be mysteries, so I'll change that. And spelling and grammar is complete. All right, um, document should look like this. I can see that it does say thousands and biographies and mysteries. I can see I've got my border, mine's different. I have a double line border, but 
uh, color looks the same, footnote, all those things look pretty good. So uh, when your file looks like what you want it to look like, approved for posting in the library, all of that, save it, close it, and submit it for a grade. So upload the file to be submitted, get three check marks, three green check marks, go into the reports page and see how you did on word four, pull up the report, let's get a score for this. And we got 100 out of 100.